Hello, Carol Undy here again and another version 6 overview of new um, features video for you. Now today I'm going to look at the colour film strip but first of all I'm going to open a design for those of you who've only just bought version 6 and never had the software before. To open a design is very easy, you go up to the folder here, left click and go to um, where you've got your design. I'm going to the My Designs folder that comes with the software and I'm going to go down to Seasons. Right, double click on that to open it and I'll just find the Easter egg again. I think that's it there. And open. And the design will come into your screen and it will fill the screen. So I'm just going to zoom out so that you can actually see the whole egg there. Okay, now the great new feature of the colour film strip is that it's so much bigger and clearer to see. Um, now if you haven't got it showing here when you open your software, you may see it docked down here. To dock, you just click on the little drawing pin and then when you want to open it, it will open up. Now you'll notice that the drawing pin is now on its side. So if I go over here and click on something um, and click off and do something else, it will disappear. If you want it to stay there, open it up and click on the drawing pin so that it's anchored there. If you close it accidentally, it will disappear from here but don't panic, you can go up to the top um, icon up here, colour film, left click on it and it will reappear and its docking uh, icon will be there as well. Now you can make this as large as you like, so if we just hold our cursor on this black line, vertical line here and left click and drag, we can make the colour film as big as we like and you'll notice that the individual objects increase in size as well. So this is great when you're trying to find individual objects and they're not all that clear. Also the white objects are now outlined so you can actually see what the object is a lot easier. So this is the white cloud, so if I left click on that, in this case all the icons are going to colour blue um, and all are going to be selected because this design's opened in a grouped fashion. So to ungroup it and make each item individual, come down to your group and ungroup and left click on the ungroup. Left click off the design and then you can select each individual um, object and only that object will turn blue here. It looks like more than one object selected here because I'm in artistic view. If we go up here and click on the art show artistic view icon it will go back to stitch view and we can see in pink this item we have selected which is just the blue area. Okay now at the moment I'm going to reduce the size of this so it's a bit clearer to you. Back to about a normal size Okay, so now we can see we've got each um, individual item showing here. If I s use the scroll bar you can see every single object is shown as a single object. If we just want to look at the colour blocks we can left click on this icon here and it's now showing the colour blocks the different colour blocks. So if I click on the yellow sun down here it will select the whole yellow sun. If I just want to look at part of the yellow sun I need to either select the individual objects, scroll down to the sun which is now in individual objects and I can just select one of those and you'll see just that selected or I can just click on the individual objects themselves and select them. Okay, now we have some other wonderful features in the colour film now. We can actually sequence our um, objects in the colour film. So what I'm going to do is delete the egg off. So I'm going, because it's ungrouped, I'm going to go edit, select all. The whole thing is selected and press my delete button. And I'm just going to digitise some random shapes to demonstrate this. 
So let's just go to our circle tool and left click and we've got our radius left click again and press enter and there we have a red circle let's get a different color and create a rectangle so there's a rectangle tool there left click and drag to the size of the rectangle we want and left click and our rectangle is created choose another color and I'm just going to use my closed object tool to make a triangle. So I need two points and press enter. And there's my triangle. Now circle stitching first, the rectangle next and the triangle last. Now if I want to sequence as selected, I used to always have to go up here to arrange stitch sequence and sequence is selected and click on the items in the um, embroidery but it's so much quicker because we oh, I'll just escape out of that tool and we now have um, our objects here and we now also have a sequence as selected tool here so I can select if I want my triangle to stitch first so that it'll be on the bottom I'll select that use your control key and say I want my circle next control circle uh, control left click on the circle and then control left click on the rectangle so it's going to now stitch in that order and I can left click I've now got this tool available so just left click on the sequence as selected so now my triangles stitching first my circle second and my rectangle on top okay I'll just undo that and we're back to how we were and if I want to I can also access the sequence by color object properties box straight from the color film so I can left click here and sequence by color block opens now for some reason I've only got two colors there let's just close that I need to have everything selected first so I'll go edit select all and sequence by color now I've got my three colors okay so now if I want the triangle to stitch first I can select that and I can go move up and move up again it's now at the top I want my uh, rectangle to stitch next which is the turquoise one select that and move it up once and my red circle to stitch last I'll just move that down so you can see what happens when I click on OK OK so there are some more options for you for resequencing. Obviously you wouldn't stitch out these three shapes on top of each other. You would probably take <coughs> the rectangle, select the rectangle and remove the bits of the triangle that's underneath that by clicking on the remove overlaps and then take the circle, select the circle and remove overlaps and it will take out the bits of the rectangle so you can see now we have some funny sh and the bits of the triangle some funny shapes up here <coughs> but it's <coughs> you need to sequence your stitch order first before you use the remove overlaps otherwise when you resequence for instance if I move this one and we can still move it up by clicking and dragging if I move that up to stitch first we still have a re we we don't really get a lot of difference it's just that these two are on top if I select this and drag it away you can see that it's got a piece cut away from it so always do your sequencing first and then um, any remover overlaps that you need to do thank you very much